Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video here. I wanna talk about Lumen a little bit and why sometimes I'd like to, you know, turn it off. So um, the reason I wanna make this video is because, you know, some of us went into virtual production, you know, jumped into this whole like symmetry and Unreal Engine thing back in Unreal Engine 4. And Lumen wasn't available then. And when we shifted to Unreal Engine 5, we noticed that, hey, some things aren't working as they used to, you know, why are my shadows suddenly all like noisy and my reflections all weird and all that, you notice it. But for some of us, you know, we only started getting into virtual production in Unreal Engine 5 and, you know, Lumen is on by default. And for those who are just getting started, they might think that, you know, that's this is the default, that you don't have a choice, but you actually do you can, you know, turn it off. And this is a very simple video. I just want to show a comparison between having Lumen on or off in your virtual set. I mean, this is not going to be a technical video or whatnot. It's purely just to show you the difference and just a reminder that, you know, you do have the option to actually turn it off. So here I have a virtual set that I quickly made, which is only lit by a single uh, point light. And it's using all the materials from the automotive materials pack that is free to download from the Unreal Marketplace. And as you can see, a lot of weird stuff going on here uh, from the reflections and all that. And there's a lot of emissive materials here being used. And so this is with Lumen on, right? And the only thing I'm gonna do here is go on my project settings and under the rendering tab, I'm going to select the global illumination method and I'm just going to select none. And you're going to see now, of course, the reflections and all that is not that great anymore, but you don't have all the weird things going on. And sometimes it's nicer to have a clean looking set rather than, you know, having a lot of weird things going around, jumping around and flickering and all that, you know, usually clients would rather prefer a clean set and I'm going to cook uh, one of these sets using Lumen and one without using Lumen and I'm going to open it up in Eximetry. So here we are in Eximetry and here I have a non Lumen comp and a Lumen comp and I've added uh, Nora and I'm going to set it to full screen here so you guys can see. So here's the shot with uh, Lumen on and as you can see there's a lot of flickering here uh, in the back and up here and on the sides and down here on the floor but you have a nice reflection here of uh, Nora going on and the gradients are really nice and all that so now I'm going to switch to the non-lumen and as you can see all the noise has gone but on the other hand you don't really have a nice reflection of Nora going on down here so I guess there is a trade-off, so you probably have to make a choice on what you want to sacrifice. Uh, you want to go for a cleaner look or you want better reflections. Now, I know there's so many things that you can tweak to make your virtual set look good, right? Your lighting, your materials, and all that. There's so many things that you can tweak. But I'm just saying, before you go crazy diving into all that, you might try just flipping the switch on turning on and off Lumen. You never know that could solve all your problems. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.